All right, we're going to go ahead and get our team meeting started. Guys, we've had a lot of uh, a lot of good things happen in the market center, um, and and then we've also had some some challenges, and we'll go we'll go into the different things. But uh, just the as far as closing out the year, it was a very positive year, with some with some components that that again proved challenging, and. We are a family. Our company, Keller Williams, is a family. And the focus has always got to be on what's doing best for the market center and for the company um, while we support the agents at the highest level. And that's always going to be our edict. Um, and, and it's critically important that how we treat each other during times of like this, that, that you know, the different elements that are fighting against each other, that we stay neutral in those. Um, that we that we maintain our level of professionalism at the highest degree, and it can never deviate from that. Um, I, we mentioned this a lot, and it might seem to get old, but the stuff we post makes a difference, and not in a positive way. No one is ever going to say, "Let me go ahead and work with that guy." He said something that offended me. <laughs> and why, if, unless your business is, if you're doing three, four hundred million dollars in business, it's still not acceptable. But why polarize yourself to at least half of the population? Keep those feelings inside. Do not share them on Facebook or any other social media. All it does is, is cause people to get hurt. And, and that's people that you work with in the market center. We can disagree 100% and still work professionally. And that's what we need to continue to do. I've mentioned it before, a zero pol uh, tolerance policy we're still there. It's a zero tolerance policy. We've had stuff posted in the past and, you know, it, it's something that it just cannot happen. So let's remember that. And I'll, I'll bring this up again and again, but it's zero tolerance. So we need your help in maintaining that. No one cares about your opinion that you hate or love Biden or Trump or anybody else. No one cares. I promise you. So help me with this help me with this. Don't make me have to make a decision on, on your future with our company based on the fact that you couldn't contain your emotions or your feelings in posts. Because in the next week, it's going to get funky again. And we just want you to know, don't post it. If you're a part of our company, don't post it. All right, let's move forward, everybody. Good times. Hey, where's my team meeting? Hold on, I messed something up. It's right here. Beautiful. All right. Well, and you all can't see my screen, right? We can see your pretty face. Oh, thank you. I was talking to Chris. <laughs> I figured, you bastard. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome Tuesday, January 12th. Um, I can't believe this. I have a daughter who's going to be uh, 30 next week. And I, it's, it's crazy. Um, time does not stop. I want to introduce you all. Uh, Hi everyone, my name is Safia. I'm the new assistant for Michael. Thank you guys for having me and giving me a warm welcome. Yeah. So, so treat, <laughs> treat her well. <laughs> she's fantastic. And day one, she's already learned so much. And Sophie was so great to Safia to yes. make sure that she did well. I want to thank Sophie for helping her with that transition. So welcome everybody. Of course, we want to thank our agents and any guests that we have. Kelso, man, you've, you're sitting there working it. We know you're recovering from COVID. Tell us what is going on. You know, nothing much. The market is, is still on fire right now. It's one of those things that uh, we're still getting uh, a lot of leads in, uh, a lot of pre-approvals. Uh, the one thing that's going on right now, as you can imagine, we still have a very low inventory level, so there's not a lot of people uh, there's a lot of people who cannot find homes out there. It's crazy. Last week alone, I issued out 
uh, three pre-approvals on homes above 800,000, and there was multiple offers in that level. Wow. So it's it's still extremely hot out there, and so this is where we beg and plead everybody to make sure you you uh, get out there and tell everybody about how important it is to put their home on the market in this time. But here here's one thing I wanted to say is, um, I had I had a real estate agent call me up the other day, and she said I don't think you talk about this enough. And so one of the things that individuals I don't think everybody knows that we have here in the market center. So we as the Kelso Group we have a mobile app that you can co-brand as a realtor partner of ours okay so you can actually have this co-branded uh application right here on your phone that you can send out to your clients you they can actually upload information right from the, the palm of their home of, of their phone they you can see everything that goes along through the process and so uh, i don't think i've done a good enough job and in, in tell everybody if you guys don't mind email me your phone number or actually email me your phone number full name, obviously in your email address, and I will get you set up on our co-branded uh, app. And it's really cool because you can see everything that goes on in regards to the approval, what's going on with it, the communication going back and forth. You can upload things right from the comfort of your own phone. And, and I had an agent the other day tell me, Chris, it, it's so much better. I don't know why you don't talk about it enough. So I want to make sure I, I let everybody know that is as we move to obviously a, a, a more virtual type stuff and uh, with COVID being out there, I'm stuck at home, as, as you mentioned right there. Uh, it's a really powerful tool to have in the palm of your hands to be able to say, hey, I've got this mobile app I can send out to you. It's with my co-branded partner, and it's, it has all your information on it. So it's one of the neatest things. So that's one of the things I did want to bring up today is anybody who wants to have access to that, just email me your full name, your email address, and your phone number, and I will get you set up on the co-branded marketing app that we have. And you can do everything. You can do calculations. You can upload docs. You can check everything out. You can uh, adjust the pre-approval letters. It's one of the coolest things ever. So let, let me ask you. So if I wanted to see um, a, a difference, if the rate was X versus the rate was Y, does it give me those calculations? You can do those type of calculations on it as well. That is correct. That's, that's a big one, guys. When you're talking to people, especially about selling their home, saying so many more people can afford it because interest rates now are at two point whatever versus 4%, you know, last year. Um, so, and even on the buying side, here's a great tool to see exactly what the buying power is. Those are important that you have those at your fingertips. Doing the math on that's impossible. So you want a good tool that does that. That's fantastic that you offer that. Yep, absolutely. So I put my email address in the, in the chat uh, area, everybody. So if you don't mind, just go ahead and email me and I'll get you set up on the co-branding as your picture has everything there from you. And then it, it's really cool, really neat, neat to use. And, and again, I want to say thank you all very much for everything. I look forward to having an amazing 2021 uh, with everybody and, and, and really kicking butt and taking names. I wish I could hug everybody physically, but I can't do that until probably the end, beginning of next week because I'm stuck at home right now. But, uh, but thank you all very much for everything. I appreciate it. Does this screw up our poker trad? Uh, so what it, what it, I, I erred on the side of caution and moved it back originally, but then I erred on the side of caution again and said, you know what, let's start the poker tribe off in February versus January, just to, just to make sure I'd rather, I'd rather err on the side of caution for everybody. That's a good idea. Yep. All right. And of course you've got Morgan in house and Chris in his house um, <laughs> to, to help us out. All right, and our preferred partners in North American Title with Deanna Mellis, Alamo Title, um, Kathy Crittenden, and Allegiance Title with Carla Schraub, and Jeannie Kugler, BRPS Title with E.L. Crane. These are vetted partners that are here to help you, um, and, and we want to support them. Our gold partners, Acosta Agency, James Acosta, Old Republic Home Protection, Tammy Rose, High Tech Home Inspection with Rachel Williams, Leger Insurance with Kathy Leger, and Brian and Brian Inspections with Christopher Enright. Our gold partners, Proct Insurance, Scott Proct, Super Home Warranty with Jean Anton, Great Heights Relocation, Isabel Cox. They've got a really nice program. If you've got somebody moving, they don't just uh, you know cover stuff up, they box everything, and they've got a whole system to make sure that your stuff they minimize the likelihood that something's going to get damaged. So they go above and beyond. They do a lot of high end stuff so that, you know, beautiful uh, art piece is going to be maintained at a high level, grand pianos, things like that. They move specialty items individually. So great moving company. We had a great presentation from them. 
Who said insurance with Jasmine Sitko and Home Warranty of America with Stacey Tierheimer? And then Chick House, Marjorie Blankenship, U.S. Health, Pris uh, Priscilla Moreno, and Empire Utility. Culture. So we, our culture committee is, we just had all of our committee, our big committee meeting where we got together with the new Agent Leadership Council. Our chair, uh, do we have our chair on the line, Tanya? You do. Tanya, tell us what is going on. Well, we had our first meeting. We had uh, a substantial number of people show up. And so we are beginning the 12 week planning process because we're gonna run on a 12 week year. Uh, to start narrowing down what our projects are going to be, our big projects that are community and our projects that are internal, agent to agent, because we really want to <clears throat> build a stronger connection agent to agent, because we believe that by going deeper with culture within Keller Williams Memorial, we'll be able to spread out wider in our community. And so that's kind of our, the first goal we've laid out is how are we going to do that? So we'll have some good answers by the time we report at ALC next Tuesday. Okay. And we're going to show you a slide that really does, uh, it's a simple one that shows our level of culture on what we paid in profit share, not in profit share, profit share is part of our culture too, but what we paid back to uh, KW Cares, and we'll, that'll be coming up in a minute. It was a record for us that got the number yesterday. It's just exciting that we have so many agents that are willing to contribute part of their commission to go back to helping other agents, and we'll show that in a minute. The culture committee, I'm excited about, Tanya, you are a definite leader and you are a driver. Um, I see big things. It's important that you as agents are a part of the different committees that we have. You don't have to be a part of all of them, but pick one or two. Uh, and, and in this case for culture, we when, when is that next committee meeting? Uh, we just had our one for the month. <laughs> excuse me, at 11 today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but I'm open to having another one if we have more people that couldn't make it today that want to jump on board. So I'm going to drop my information in um, the chat box so people can reach out. And if we need to schedule another one, as we get this planning process done, we can absolutely do that. If you guys haven't seen the video in the, the KW Memorial Facebook forum, and you want to know a little more, you can jump over there and take a look too, but I'll put my contact info in the chat. Now, please take that down guys, because you want to be a part of something bigger. It's not just about selling real estate. And if you're new, it certainly doesn't help to get involved with people that are people that give back. The culture committee is amazing come on the committee. You don't have to be knowledgeable about it. You don't have to be someone that's done it before. We want to have new fresh faces as well as people that have done it in the past so that we can do some big things this year in 2021. This is a time for healing and that happens when your culture is strong. So I ask that you strongly consider being a part of the culture committee, at least come to the meeting and see what they're talking about. All right, and our tribes committee. Kate, do we have you on? Yes, I was just struggling to unmute. Uh, well, I just wanted to welcome everybody to 2021 and say whatever you're interested in outside of your business, uh, I'm here to help you find other agents with a common interest. Um, and then if you are interest in, interested in meeting with agents for business collaboration, then we can do that too. Uh, so whether it's based on production or market area or a specialist section of the market, uh, whatever subset of agents you would find it uh, to be productive and positive to hang out with, reach out to me, Kate Ferguson at kw.com, and I will try to help connect you with other agents with the same interest. So we have uh, at the moment, all of our uh, tribes are social based as opposed to business based, um, but we're very open to both. So we have book club, we have a dinner club, we have wine club, uh, I say club, I should say tribe, sorry. We have a volunteer tribe, uh, shout out to Sarai for all the work she's done on that so far. Uh, we have the poker tribe, which apparently is a secret because they never send me any information, uh, but I go to them. <laughs> If you want to find out about it, let me know and I will get you in there. Um, and then uh, what else do we have uh, besides books? We have uh, games nights and we have ideas for lots of others. And if I've missed out one that's active, I apologize. So 
basically whatever your interest is in, let me know and I will hook you up with fellow tribe members. And uh, the goal of this is to break the 720 agents down into small, manageable, personal groups so that you can have uh, viable relationships and connections within the brokerage and make it feel like home. So my message for 2021 is come on home. See I you. love your message. Thank you. And, and we do have some strong tribes. We want to get a few more going. If you have something that you do, a hobby that you do, there might be five or six other people within the market center that also are interested in that. We know that we've had plenty of people say, I want to do a running club. I mean, 32 degrees out, why not? But we just need somebody to help lead that. And that's part of leadership. Growing as a leader um, is, is about leading something like this. And so we would love for you to, to step out there and say, hey, I'm interested. All you have to do is email Kate and we'll get that going. Hey, Michael, it's Kim. Um, can I talk about the book club tribe really quick? Yes, you can. Sorry, I was in an appointment. I was trying to get here. Um, I just want to let everyone know that we're reading um, the 12 week year and I'm really excited about that. Um, our book tribe is on the 26th. It is after the team meeting. We're going to do um, a combination of a Zoom and an in-person for those of you that feel comfortable um, meeting in person. And I really, what we were going to do is it's a great book. I think you're really going to like it. Um, and we're going to kind of launch this into maybe doing some training on the 12 week year um, after that point. So I look forward to seeing you all there. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 832-244-9968. Um, Thanks. All right, and I put up a slide for you, and I just realized um, I screwed up everything I did that. <laughs> and, and what, I, where I, is should the have, I should have mentioned that the uh, volunteer tribe has a blood drive, and it's going to be on the 28th of January. In Just outside the office, they're bringing a donor coach from one till five, um, and uh, Sarai's goal is 25 donors. I would really like to up that to 50, uh, but... Uh, January 28th at the just outside the office in the in the driveway there so um let us let, let's see you all out there in numbers on the 28th she's already fixing my first mess up in zoom hold on hey while we're doing that Alex McCauley just walked in and Alex, come on over. Oh, we'll Y'all know Alex. Hi She's guys. Okay. Happy New Year. Hi. Oh yeah, everyone's on the screen. This is so weird. Um, so I just wanted to quickly say James Selig and I are heading the growth committee this year and we are really committed to you guys um, growing your downline. So one thing that we really wanna focus this year is helping you guys with scripts um, in order to speak to agents. When you've had a really good transaction with an agent on the other side, those are the types of people that we want to join KW Memorial. So we really wanna help you guys work on scripts in order to you know, convince those people why they should even try to potentially switch over to a new brokerage because we know that's really intimidating and it's a lot of work. Um, so we'll be doing that. We'll be talking about a lot of other ways that you guys can also grow your downline and we're excited to have you join. So our first meeting is on Zoom at one o'clock this Thursday, and we'll send you guys out the link um, no later than tomorrow. So when we talk about that, now it's we. I just got the numbers. Uh, we we almost hit five hundred thousand in profit share. So that's money that we paid out to agents. Now the lion's share, you know, gets dispersed out to to those that bring in people that are in production. There's there's no doubt about it. Here's how to get started in it, because it really is something that it's not that tough. When we meet with somebody, we offer so much at this market center. Um, we've got all kinds of classes coming up. You're going to see uh, this one tomorrow with this economist. It's going to be fantastic to attend, but we have tons of stuff all the time. And they're not getting that kind of support at their market centers or their offices. When they join, we share in the profits that we make. 
And so we wanna make sure that you have an opportunity at that. You've got two great leaders that are helping in growth. Uh, they're chairing the committees. So please come to the growth committee. You'll learn how do, I, how do I build up my profit tree? How do I share in the profits of the company? We're really big into it, half a million this year. Our goal is to, do, to blow that out of the, the water next year. I want you to get your piece of it. So awesome, thank oh, you so much. Bye guys, have a good week. All right, we got our friends of Bill. How is that one going? Yeah, so <clears throat> I think we're gonna scale it back to twice a month because it seems pretty consistent that we have four, five, six people on one week to the next, four, five, six, seven to the next. So I think we're gonna scale it back to every other sure. Thursday at noon on Zoom. So I'll send an email out um, <clears throat> for them to make that change on the calendar. Awesome. All right, happy birthday, January 10th, Danny Singh and Charlisha McKinney, January 11th, <laughs> and Maria Fernandez on the 12th, got, um, Gada Mahari Hana, <coughs> Leah Barnaby, Bob Takis, Sharon White on the 13th, <coughs> Ashley Winsher, Linda Pham, Mimi Garcia Caro, Nicole Arriando, and Sylvia Broussard on the 14th, Laura Banda and Manuel Chavez on the 15th. Peggy McGee, Sandra Aguirre on the 16th, Daniela Antella and Sarina Malhatra on the 17th, Shanti Hurt, Kishana Strand, <coughs> Tammy Hunter on the 18th, Alexander Karakov, Dominique Tarell, Mary Anster Russell. Happy birthday, everybody. Guys, still pushing it. We're gonna keep showing it until we at least have 50% of the people that sign up for this. When someone calls your voicemail, and I want you guys to call your voicemail today, what does it sound like? Is it uh, leave a message that's not even your voice, but it's some robotic thing that comes automatically from your Apple distributor? Um, if you email Teresa Garza, T Garza at kwmemorial.com, <clears throat> and you say, I would like to get my voicemail set up they're going to get it set up with your name and it's a, a, a voice that comes in and it sounds so much more professional and we pay for it. It costs you nothing. Your bill doesn't go up. It's a service we have. I have an unlimited subscription. We pay the good amount for it. It doesn't cost us more to add you. Get your voicemail right. If you're not going to do your voicemail, if you're not going to do your voice on your voicemail, have it done in a nice way where it sounds professional. It doesn't take them long to do it. You don't have to do anything special. Just email T Garza, which is Teresa Garza at kwmemorial.com and get it done. Make that your thing you do today that betters your business so you don't sound unprofessional if someone's calling you. Transaction coordinators, we've got Melissa Ramirez and Kristen Cachero. They're both here to help you out with your business. So they have a, a modest fee for the work that they do. I know that they're getting busier um, and it's one of those things where they're, they know how to do the, the compliance with uh, the, the command piece of it where it goes to, in order to get paid. We want to help you with that. Um, if you don't wanna do it on your own, you've got people that are knowledgeable on how to do it. <coughs> on call, remember we have three agents on call every week and they were answering questions when we were in the middle of our ALC meeting this last week. They're here to help you. Now, they are documenting the type of questions that they're getting so that they can let us know, hey, we need more training on something. So it's okay to call. Um, if you leave a voicemail, be sure to leave them your, your name and your number because they can't see who called because it's going through a main routed number. So if you would, leave your name and your phone number and then they can call you back. Now our profit share hit right around that 500,000 mark. Um, and, and for KW Cares, we broke 15,000. Let me just give you perspective on that. Um, the Metropolitan is about the same size as us. And they do a little bit less in transactions. We did about 200 million more than them, but I'm not bragging. Um, but yeah, we broke about 1.3 billion. They broke a billion. Um, they gave 4,000 in, into KW Cares. We gave 15,400, our goal was 15,000. So please continue to support it, but know the culture of your company is based on those that help out others that are in need. 
this money that we provide, and we've done other stuff, but in addition to that, this 15,000 goes to corporate. They've got that in a mega account with about $10 million in it. And when you're in need, or when you know someone that's in need within the company, they have funds there to support them. That's what it's about. You never know when a tragedy is gonna hit, but certainly it's, it's just beautiful to think that we have a company that gave more than we've ever given before. The company asked us to do 3,000 a year and we broke 15,000. Kudos to you all because that speaks volumes of your culture. Thank you. All right, our December coaching awards for top listing agent, Nusat Tabani, first place, and Dan Foreman, second place. Casey Reed, congratulations, third place in top listings, top close volume. Andrea Ahmed, first place. Deborah Sanger, second place. And Angelica Rivera's third place. First closing for Nancy Smith. Andis Alvarez and Charisse Johnson. Congratulations on your first closing. And remember, in coaching, we've had some record numbers. Um, these are the agents that were in production in December. December typically would be about half that for newer agents. Now they're not all new agents, but a lot of them are. It's getting that daily drip of positivity that really makes a difference, that daily drip of support every morning, it's there for you. We ask that you consider coaching if you're not where you wanna be. And it was another record month. December is typically a slow month um, to break 50,000 is a big deal for uh, people in coaching. $86,000 went to company dollar. And that means you had hundreds of thousands of dollars that went to the agents. What the tech? Do I have Gabby on? I'm here. What's going on? I need to share my screen. Hi, everyone. Happy 2021. Okay. So today, I'm going to show you two things. Let's start with the fun part. So in command, um, we had our ALC meeting with the new ALC this year. And one of our ALC members was talking about how she um, looks into the referral patterns to actually reach out to other agents in other market centers, KW, of course, to start, um, to start having a relationship with them. Um, and you never know who's going to refer you some business. So it's another way of lead generating. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in commands because it's pretty, pretty easy. So, what you want to do is um, once you are in command, you are going to the referrals outlet right here. And then, Michael, can you mute? Um, I think trying to, we're trying to figure it out. Who is it? <laughs> it's Tanya Vandini. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> we just were going to mute you. <laughs> oh, now it's quiet. We can all hear. <laughs> okay. So once you are into the referrals applet, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the map right here on top. And then instead of looking for production, what you're going to look are, it's for referral patterns right here. It's going to be the last option in there. And you're going to start in Houston because we are in Houston and we're interested in knowing um, what's happening from here to other cities and from other cities to Houston. So here you have the options of referrals sent and referrals received, right? So depending on what type of relationship you want to create, you want to, might want to do both. Um, so for example, we are in referrals received. And then on the right, you have the list. Let me move this around. You have the list with the percentage of how many referrals were received or sent from Houston to these other places. If you actually click on the arrow right there, it's going to show you the top, uh, the top five. So you know um, you have some referral patterns right there. So the second step would be once you know that, so let's say Perlin looks like a good place to start. What you want to do is you want to look for market centers in Perlin or near the area, right? Because you want to find agents to start a relationship with from places that are actually sending referrals. So you're going to go to Perlin 
and you're going to look for market centers in Perlin. So you have two here. Let's say this is the closest one to Perlin. So when you click on the market center, you get their information. You know that that market center um, has, um, let me click on it real quick. Okay, so 202 agents. And then from there, if you're gonna do this strategically, you're not gonna reach out to them just randomly, but you can actually um, rearrange this by closed units, right? If you are in a team and you rather create a relationship with another team, you can also see if they are in a team or if they're single agents. So all of this information is provided to you in command and you can definitely start creating relationship with other KW agents from other cities um, and market centers so that you can you know, have those um, referral bodies already. So they can think of you whenever they do have a referral for Houston. All right, so guys, I hope you're really taking this down because we learned from um, the, the head of NAR's uh, economic uh, side, Dr. Yun, people that we know are moving outside of Houston. More people are moving here than leaving. That's the case. Being knowledgeable about all those uh, cities that are in the suburbs, even beyond Katy, we're talking Columbus, areas that the, the client is moving to but they're still working in the city, but they're only working in the city one to two days a month or a week because their job affords them the opportunity to be able to just come in a couple times a week and to Zoom the rest. When you let people in this referral group and other cities know, by the way, I specialize in areas outside of the city for those clients that are able to work remotely and only need to go into their job in the city a few times. Um, that's important. Remember the people on the third and fourth floor of this very building, it is empty in there because they're able to work through Zoom. So they have to live somewhere. They're living further away, about two hours away from the office. So take advantage of that information and put out there that that's what you specialize in. I specialize in helping people who live outside of the city but work in the city through Zoom. That's a whole new niche Take advantage of that information. You're seeing who's sending people here. That's who you should be marketing to. And, and Gabby, this was a great segment today for you to, to be bringing up right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way of lead generating as well. And then if you click on the name of the agents, you'll have their contact information. So you can add them and do everything um, in command, but always add that personal touch of just giving them a call and saying like, hey, I'm calling from the Houston Memorial Office and just have that conversation with them so that you are the number one person they think about whenever somebody's going to Houston. So they can refer you the business and you'll do the same for them. Um, so that's the one part that I wanted to show you guys from command. And then real quick, I wanted to show you, um, well, please lock me out, but in my KW, I wanted to show you, just remember that the EH panel is gone. However, you do have access to all the quick links at the bottom of the page. So you can still access our intranet from there. And I wanted to show you um, to pay extra good attention to the posts in here because um, all staff like accounting, myself, whenever there is something important, we will post it there as well in case you are missing our text or emails. And something very important coming up soon is the accounting processes to provide you the best um, customer service that we can. So they came up with some procedures and rules on when and what and where to do to get paid on like on closing. So just make sure that you guys go read it because it starts on January 15th. Right, so it's a whole page of things that you're supposed to be doing and how you need to send your paperwork and commissions and everything to get paid promptly. And this Gabby, is just to provide everybody the best um, customer service. Gabby, I had a quick question. Yeah. On here, it shows as far as I can understand that we're supposed to submit for compliance through command, but- no. Please take command and compliance out of your vocabulary, everybody. We have not transitioned compliance through command yet. We will do it sometime this year. We'll let you know when, 
But for now, the only thing you are required to do in commands is the replacement of the green sheets. So just the payment part of it. For compliance, for compliance in your paperwork, yes, it's still dot loop and you still submit for review to Marilyn through dot loop. Thank you. My pleasure. So that was it. And then the other thing, I'm gonna stop sharing. So you know where to find those um, accounting procedures. And then the third thing is just always remember that for commissions, you can reach out to anybody in staff. Um, we are all trained to help you with any commissions questions. Um, once you have submitted, uh, then your question goes to accounting. Because after you actually submitted your green sheet, I mean, your commission, um, we don't have access anymore, but accounting does. So that's when you reach out to accounting or if it's a numbers um, question, then that goes into accounting as well. But other than that, all staff is available to you. Um, so you can have a faster response as well. Awesome, thank you. And that is. All right, let's take a look at what the market did because we've got a lot of upheaval politically going on right now. How did that affect the market? So weekly activity snapshot, this is gonna be uh, for the previous week. Uh, we're looking at new listings are down about 28%. So what we need is you know, focus on listings because that demand is there. There's a huge demand for listings. Uh, and when you see multiple offers on properties, that means there's demand. This is your opportunity, but you have to be able to tell the story that there is demand. People don't know it unless you say it. So be sure to let people know, be doing videos to your farm and let them know. You can even let them see this particular screenshot. Pending listings are up. So the listings that came in, they're selling, they're up because there's demand for them. About 5% over last year at the same time. So take advantage of letting your people know that homes are selling right now faster as a result of the demand that's available. Now, off market listings are down. So sellers withdrew fewer, all that means is sellers withdrew fewer listings. That means when I put a listing on the market, it's selling. I don't need to withdraw because it's selling. Closings way up. Despite constrained inventory, home closing staged a strong 2020 finish with volume in positive territory for the 24th straight week. So for half a year, constantly ahead of where it was the previous year, closed sales of homes totaled 2,480 in week 52 versus 1,600. That's dramatic. That's the biggest gain we've seen. And then on the showing side, it's pretty much flat. Appointments for showing properties were statistically flat. Now, car listings, um, these up dramatically, 55%. I mean, we haven't seen numbers like this. Usually it's up 5%. People are looking like crazy right now. Why are they looking? Because they're ready to move. They're tired of their house. Big jump. Are you going to be the person that benefits from working with buyers? and taking them out, which is fine, or having the good things and having control. Go out and get listings and we have the best tools. In the next uh, couple of weeks, I'd like to have another power list for class. Also just a mastermind on how to get more listings. Upcoming trainings, and we've got some good ones, especially uh, tomorrow. Uh, first off, we've got Tech Connect part one, that's Tuesday, January 12th today from two to four. Uh, Oscar Artero is doing it and you're learning the basics uh, you got command, marketing, pick social. Pick social is important. If you get a listing, you want to make sure that that thing is being showcased um, everywhere. And, and it does a lot more than that. Coaching program. We saw the records in coaching, 80 plus thousand in closed um, company dollar. 8.30 to 9 every morning, Monday through Friday. When you're in coaching, the coaches are there. And that's Chuck, Kelly, and Kimberly. Are there guiding you, helping you, motivating you? Ignite, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 12.30. Um, <laughs> right, he's pouring a Michael, cocktail that's, right now. <laughs> that's Martha Raymond. You want to meet her? Oh, I love Martha. I want to see what she's I do too. <laughs> Hello. 
Martha, we need you to mute yourself. Hello? <laughs> oh. Or pour one for every, or pour me. one for everybody. All right. So we have Ignite. Remember, Ignite is our foundational program. Uh, it's the one that gets you into action and it teaches you the key things that are germane to your success. 8.30 to 12.30, Monday through Friday, we have James Ward teaching it, easy to register. Hop onto that. Culture Committee, this is what we were talking about. They just had their meeting, but they will have another meeting. And it's really about what our company stands for. It's the strength of the culture that determines the strength of the company. So please sign up. Just all you have to do is email her. And if you email her, she's going to set another meeting and she would love to have you in it. We'd love to have you be a part of it. We should have 30 people in there. Tomorrow we are having the housing forecast. So this is uh, a top uh, uh, person that everybody knows dotes her when it comes to this. It's like Ted Jones, but he gets more specific into what we're doing here. I'd love for you to be a part of this. Uh, you got to register for it. You can register on the calendar. That's going to be the U.S. economy, interest rates, inflation, local job growth, and other major indicators within the Houston market, San Antonio market, uh, New Braunfels market. So be here 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Our goal is to have more people on our call than Craig's office. Culture and conversation with Dr. Brand. I would love for everyone in this market center to be on this. Wednesday, January 13th from 1 to 2.30. Please make this a part of your schedule tomorrow. Please book it. Don't say you're going to be there, but not have it in your calendar because if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. Really coming from culture and conversation. Um, this is this is something that's important. So please be a part of this. Dr. Brand has had 200 keynote presentations, uh, 50,000 plus trained and advised. We want you to see this. We're, we're doing this for, for you guys and we need something like this now. So please be there 1 to 2.30, January 13th, tomorrow. Everyone on staff should be on there for sure. Finance Committee, Thursday, January 14th from 9 to 10. James is doing it. And what do we do in the Finance Committee? Well, what we monitor and analyze their income and expenses to improve our overall profitability. There are things that we might spend money on that don't have a return. They don't move the needle. Well, you being a part of that committee allows you to be able to comment on that. We want to hear your opinion. And even if you don't have an opinion on it, you will at some point. And, and we need that. So we would love for you to attend this committee, the luxury committee. There's been a huge change in that there is no cost for the luxury committee. Um, you just need to meet a certain criteria, which is selling four homes over $700,000 in a two year period. If you haven't done that, but you get a listing for 700,000, that listing qualifies for luxury marketing automatically. So we would love for you to come to this committee meeting. Um, Jen, I don't know if she's on, is our chair. And there's a lot of stuff to talk about. There isn't an agent out there that wouldn't want to sell luxury. Come to the meeting so you can see what KW offers and what they're planning to offer this year. They haven't done anything like this before, the, the things that they proposed a couple of weeks ago. So come hear what it's about and come be a part of it. Our growth committee, as we heard Alex earlier and James, be a part of profit share and be a part of something bigger. The growth of the company is the strength of the company. When I started here and we were at 119 agents, we didn't have the staffing that we have today. The staffing comes when we're able to put those resources towards more staffing. There's plenty of KWs where you have people doing multiple roles. Um, so it's tough to, to really get in with them. Um, the services aren't there. We have more services than any KW, and it's because of the size of our company. We reinvest in our people and in the tools that we offer. We can continue to do that as long as we continue to move upward and grow. We'd love your input. We'd love for you to be there. So please, Thursday, January 14th, consider attending. Commercial committee. Uh, it's funny because it's a commercial TV. Um, but... <laughs> we do those on Thursday, January 14th from three to four. If you're even interested remotely in commercial, come to the committee meeting. I know there's about 30 people that do commercial within the office. 
every one of you should have an interest in what that committee is proposing. You have a voice. Every agent has the same voice. So please come to it so we can hear what your thoughts are. Covered versus uncovered. So this is on home warranties, Monday, January 18th from two to three. Jean Anton from Super is gonna be doing it. Uh, and it's important on your home warranties when you're talking to a, a buyer and you're saying, hey, yeah, don't worry about it. We're gonna get a home warranty, you'll be taken care of. Nothing's worse than when that home warranty does not cover that air conditioning or whatever other appliance that they thought would be because then they come back to you. So getting to hear firsthand what the expectations are from the home warranty company can really make a difference. Pathways advanced. So Tuesday, January 19th from nine to 11, this is Brian Buffini to that next level. Now, the one thing that we thought was you had to take the previous Brian Buffini. It turns out you don't. You can go ahead and just sign up for this pathways. How do I work by referral at the highest level, working effectively with buyers and sellers? I strongly consider that you take a look at this, January 19th from nine to 11. And then the ALC meeting, which is all these committee meetings, they've met at this point on the 19th. Now they're gonna discuss and share what their committee sets. We wanna get lots of people in those committee meetings and then we're gonna hear from the chair about what they discussed and what their ideas were for each of the committees moving into this new year you are able to attend that and hear what the direction of the company is going. And we do this every month. So January 19th, everyone is invited to attend. You just don't have a voice. Your voice is during the committee meetings, the ones that I read off, there your voice is gonna be fully heard and we want that. But when it comes time to the actual ALC committee, the Asian Leadership Council Committee, that's when we just hear what the chair said about their committee. What did they decide in that meeting? and it's just their voice that we'll be hearing. So we would love for you to attend so you can hear what's going on with your market center. Bulletproof your transactions. Wednesday, January 20th, two to four. We know that there's always things that come up, especially with the new financing and the other things that happen in our industry. How do you make it so that that transaction holds together for the duration of escrow? They're gonna go into detail on this. And Michael, that one, yeah. um they've been working really hard to actually provide CE credit for that one. So you're going to get two free CE hours for Bulletproof Your Transaction. My goodness, free. Yes, free, two hours. That is, that is definitely uh, <laughs> well attending. All right, so earlier today, I commented on a post that was on Facebook. One of our agents did a video, which was beautiful. She's, um, she's from another country, and she went ahead and said, look, I'm going to do a video about my listing. And that was not easy. The great thing, and she did a fantastic job. The great thing about our company, we want to help build you and we want to help you get there as quickly as possible. So we offer Toastmasters here every Thursday from 1030 to 1130. For a while there, we only had it three days a week because of ALC, but it looks like we've worked around that. Come to this. Uh, it starts now. It's going to be January 21st because we have an appointment this Thursday that we couldn't change. But January 21st, 1030, be there. Learn how to speak eloquently and to get past the ums and the pauses that you might have. We're here to help you get through that. How to speak impromptu and also how to do a prepared speech like a listing presentation flawlessly. Allow us to help you. If you choose to become a member of Toastmasters, meaning you come to it, you're doing speeches, we're gonna pay for your membership because you're part of Keller Williams Memorial. That's what we do here. We wanna build you, we wanna watch you grow. You can invite other real estate professionals from other companies, certainly, and we would love for them to also be better. It only helps all of us, but take advantage of this. This should have 50 people in it. Typically we have about 20, 25, be a part of something bigger. Let's grow this year together. Contract challenge, Chuck loves to do this January 22nd one to three o'clock. Here's where you learn how to get different situations and how to handle them when you're doing contracts. What a great way to be totally professional when you do get hit with that challenge. Chuck, thank you for doing this. You've been doing it for years and you've helped so many people. So hop on, the meeting ID is here below. Risk management review of TREC promulgated changes. 
This is Maryland, January 25th, Monday from one to three. This is important that you understand changes to the contract, not when you're writing a contract, but before going into the contract. So be at this class. Yes, do we save them? The challenge is when you really need it, it will help so much if you listen to Marilyn talk through it because your questions will be the same as everybody else's. This is an important one. You should never miss one of Marilyn's classes. Career visioning. Those of you that plan on growing into something bigger. When I say something bigger right now, many of you are, you are the team. You are the person who writes the contract, who solicits the business, who takes the client out. You do every piece of it. But many of you have aspirations on building a team. The first question is, how do you hire? And that's what career visioning is all about. How do I hire the right person? What does that look like? They have a whole process in place. It takes about 90 days to do it properly, to bring somebody on and take them through and get them fully trained and to make sure that they are on a growth plan. Career visioning does that. It's not often offered very often. So when it is, you should jump on this. And the fact that it's done through Zoom, you don't have to travel to do it. It is two days and you wanna allocate that time, but this is so worth it. I can't imagine too many of you not wanting to build something bigger than what you're currently at right now. This is the first step. So Monday, January 27th and Tuesday the 28th from 10 to three, please take advantage of that. Uh, there is a modest cost to it. It's much more expensive if it was in person. And, and I'd like to see you all take this so you can grow. And I just added the link to register for that one in the chat as well, if you guys want to like oh, just awesome. click on it. Thank you so much. All right, property tour. Let's see what we got. Okay, Arash, tell us yes. about this property. You're very excited about it. You sent it over. You were afraid it didn't go to the right person. Uh, tell us about your listing. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. Actually, this is the wrong picture on the first picture on top left. That's not my picture. Anyway, if we can go to the next post, we'll be... Actually, I don't have it. So tell me, what uh, is that picture nicer than your current picture? Uh, Mine is nicer. Okay, so don't look at this one. If it was... <laughs> um, do we have more... Uh, we don't have more pictures on this one. Uh, but in MLS, you can find them, right? or I can share my screen. All right, go ahead. Why don't you pull it up for us and share your screen and I'll hop off. Yeah. Okay, just give me a moment. This is our first time doing this. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Let's just start 3D2 maybe or Okay. Um, Share your screen. Let's take a look. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. This house is recently updated and is moving ready. Three bedrooms and uh, one study room or library. Nice landscaping, new driveway, and uh, new front door with new touch, uh, 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 keep at touch yell and nice library study, all their actual uh, uh, staging, they are not virtual staging, recently painted inside, outside, all the fixtures are new, new flooring, uh, two stories, master bedroom downstairs, and uh, two rooms upstairs, high ceiling, tons of natural light, large windows, as you can see, wet bar, and um, kitchen, it's really, Amazing, all new appliances, everything is included, fridge. And uh, let's go to the other pictures. Uh, master bedroom is large with French door to the backyard. Master bathroom, two walk-in closet, stand shower. And uh, two rooms upstairs with walk-in closet and full bath upstairs. Backyard is really big and uh, tons of uh, trees there. It's good for gathering. 
and is ready to move in. Please call me if you have any questions, survey, and other documents are all attached. 3D tool also is ready. You can see the 3D tools. We use, uh, oh, sorry, what happened? Oh. I don't know, doesn't work. Anyway, all right. I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so how much is it? Uh, 370,000 and uh, uh, owner spending a lot of money to upgrade the house. It looks beautiful. You have to see this house, it's really beautiful. Very clean. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let me get you back on. Do I have this one? Hey, Michael, while you're switching it over, um, it's Kim again. And I just wanted to, since I jumped in late, I know I didn't get a chance to talk about education committee. Um, and so before we jump into the have and wants, I want um, everyone to join the education um, committee meeting. It's Thursday at two o'clock. Um, I really would like for everyone to have a voice in the direction of, of the education that we bring to the office, um, whether it's market information that you were looking for or if it's, um, you know, social equality information, just different classes that you think that would benefit you and grow you professionally. Um, I would just really like for everyone to join that can um, at two o'clock on Thursday. And if you have any questions, you can call or text me. Thanks. Thank you so much. And Kim, we're so excited that you've taken that committee over because we know you're going to bring a lot to the table. Um, that the education is something when people think of KW, they think, oh, that's where I, that's where I started and that's where I learned. But as you can see, the, the type of classes we're bringing to the table are about for agents that are doing 50 million would benefit them. Uh, we're going to continue to do that, but your input's important. So we would love to have you in that committee meeting. It'd be, you know, 15, 20 agents to share what they would like to see every month in their training, uh, the, the delivery of the training, um, help with, you know, if we need to do surveys of some kind of agents who have taken the classes and how has it benefited them. All of those things are important and we would love your help in continuing to drive training as being a, a key foundational component of our office. Let's get into haves and wants. Who has something coming in the MLS in the next seven days that is not currently in MLS? Michael, can I follow Kim with that real quick? Sure. It's Catherine. Um, I just wanted to invite everybody to my international uh, committee Thursday at noon. Um, I don't know if you promoted it before. I don't think you have yet, and I wasn't able to jump in sooner, but um, just because you may not have a listing in the south of France or you have buyers wanting to buy in Belize, you probably are doing international business. And it is my goal with this committee to make sure that you have all the knowledge that you need to be able to help your clients, even if they're local, uh, with international clients, uh, with international transactions, because there are other steps and other uh, roadblocks that you will run into. So um, we have education sessions. I want to hear from everybody what you're looking for, what kind of uh, information you need, and what questions you have so that we can uh, tailor education towards that. And then besides that, we want to focus on uh, different cultures and have fun cultural parties as soon as we can um, after the COVID mess is over. And, and with that, I mean, just before this call, I was on a call with an agent who's got some things in Mexico that they're opening up to her and giving her listings. And she knows she has to have exclusivity uh, and, you know, area 82, all of that stuff. But as far as where do you take it from there? And that's things that are covered in the international meeting. So be a part of that. Um, we, we are a destination. When I say destination, we have different areas where lots of Houstonians buy in, in certain uh, luxury areas in Mexico, certain uh, vacation areas in Mexico. They, they, you know, we have 20% Houstonians in one very big uh, luxurious uh, resort in, in Mexico right now. And that's where they move to and being knowledgeable about that that's appealing to a developer to get a Houstonian real estate agent that's knowledgeable. And that's what we would love to help you be a part of too. So that's that committee that Catherine's talking about will definitely prepare you for that. Um, I do have some other ALC members. I see I've got Anita on there as well. Anita, what is your committee that you're doing this year? Hi, 
everybody. Um, I'm part of the Preferred Partners Committee, which is a preferred vendors. Sorry, my Alexa alarm was going off. Um, what we're doing is we, um, we have preferred partners that we work with. And this is really good, especially if you're new um, to real estate, it's really good to partner up and to be able to have a title company that you can talk to or a lender. Um, so this is our preferred partners committee. I invite everybody to join to see how we can have a preferred partners help us and us um, be able to have this good relationship with them that we can refer our clients to. Awesome. Thank you. Anthony, I see you on here as well. What is your committee? So, so, so. Okay. I apologize for that. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, I'm doing the uh, social equity. Uh, committee um, and basically what we are here for is to just provide uh, information to the market center um, in regards to social equity um, how to be a more inclusive and diverse uh, market center as you know we're one of the most diverse market centers in the city so Houston is a big melting pot so social equity is a very big portion of that uh, the other uh, committee that I'm heading as well is the technology committee. Technology committee is here to uh, provide feedback to you, uh, Michael, uh, in regards to all the technology that's going on, whether it be the website, AV around the um, office, anything of that nature. So, yeah. yeah and, and everybody, we're going to be sending out the different committee times and the, uh, I know it's on the calendar, but we're gonna shoot that out as well in a separate email so you can just click on it, get into the different committees. Uh, it doesn't hurt to show up to more than one, get a feel for which one really resonates with you or a couple of them. Um, so be, you can be a part of something bigger. That's what we've been stressing. Do I have any other ALC members on? Yes, Michael, it's Emily Zackham. Um, I yeah. am, uh, Linda Aber and I are, 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 in, are doing the retention committee. This is a new committee that I think it needs, um, we need to have everybody's help. Uh, we invite everyone to help us um, build uh, an increase in retention rate, help them feel at home and, and listen to their needs and do our best to increase that retention rate. A lot of agents come to this award, amazing brokerage, but sometimes they fall into the cracks, they feel they're alone. Um, we want to get them and help them before they decide on leaving because once they decide on leaving and they tell us it's too late so our goal is to um, have as many people join voice their opinion give us suggestions and do our best to increase our retention rates absolutely i mean from the time you start with a company whatever company it is the way that you were um, in process that's the first step you can tell is is did that feel good uh, did i get a call back was everything that I was committed, uh, did, did that happen? Those things are important. We want to hear that. If we did a great job, great. If we missed something, we want to hear about that too. Every piece along the way is important to us. We want to deliver what we committed to do. And, you know, areas that we can improve on, we know that we're not infallible. So it's so great to have something like that. And that, very appreciative. So please attend that committee so you can share you know, your experiences and how we can continue to make the company better so we can keep our retention very high. You know, our meetings are the first Tuesday of every month at 1.30 and we would love to have everyone join and, and give us their comments and suggestions. Awesome. Do I have, thank you. Do I have any other ALC members? Yes. I'll take the first. I'm here too. Okay, um, Tanya, go ahead real quick. Okay, I, um, I'm going. Okay, my committee meeting is a uh, family reunion mega camp committee meeting. I know that it sounds like too specific, but right now we're really time of an essence. Uh, family reunion is going to start uh, on February 15th, and we just had our committee meeting. I really want you, since you already missed it, don't miss the opportunity to actually learn from Gary Keller directly and from all the best agents uh, in this industry. 
industry. So just go to MyKW and uh, over there you will find the actual right. Um, the sign of family reunion, it says register. Uh, just to let you know, that costs usually about $2,500, the right and the privilege to be in this kind of event. Right now it's for 119 only, and uh, you will have even more opportunity to learn because being uh, virtually, you have access to all the classes. You will not miss any of them. You will have the class for another 60 days. So please just register. For those who like in person, we are making it uh, hybrid for you and you will have the opportunity to actually connect with other agents here at the office and um, we can explain all the details. So what she's saying is you're going to be able to watch it here. Um, we can only take a certain amount in the training rooms and we'll have it on the big screen uh, and at our office and at the energy corridor office. Sometimes you want to learn in a group, but either way, we saw how well it worked for mega camp six months ago. It was huge. They delivered it at a high level and they were able to do it for a hundred dollars versus the cost of hotels and everything else. So here it's a hundred and change, $119 and you will have four days of the best agents showing you exactly how they process, how they work in different areas, listings, buyers, everything, scripts. That's what you want to attend. We want to get a hundred people. That's our goal to sign up. That's not a very lofty goal, but we want to get a hundred to sign up um, now that it is virtual. So we have the link uh, and, and you've been sent the link as well. Please yes, so with that, please be alerted to the um, emails because we're going to actually have a limit since we, time, space is limited, you will have to register in order to be in person and you will have to know where if it's energy corridor or here at the uh, memorial office. Yeah, but the we're good. <laughs> we got it. They'll get it. <laughs> Clara. Hey. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll have our first commercial committee meeting next Thursday, at three o'clock. Um, I'd encourage anyone who is interested in learning a little bit more about commercial and the inner workings to attend. We'd love to have all of the commercial agents from both sides online, as well as any residential agents who would like to see who all the players are. Our goal is to increase the education of all of the agents, including residential, with regard to commercial and the ins and outs of it, um, and also include um, sorry, improve the communication between residential agents and both, uh, both commercial groups. Awesome, thank you. And thank you, Tanya. Uh, anybody else? All right, haves and wants real quick. Who has something that's going into MLS but it is not in MLS yet? I do, Michael. Okay, hi um, Kate. Hi, hi there. Um, I have a residential lot on South Brazewood Boulevard so it's uh, well located inside the 610 in Brazewood Place, just south of West University Place. It's a mid block, not corner, but it's over 11,000 square feet. Um, it did flood in Harvey. The house has already been demolished and removed. So all utilities are there um, and it's just ready for a builder to come in and do a, a custom single family home. So anyone who's got uh, a builder client looking to do that, please give me a call. Kate Ferguson at kw.com. Um, I also have for the week after, but I'm going to take advantage of airtime right now. Um, I have two properties, one in Fleetwood and one in Katy. And they're not exactly fixer uppers, but they're certainly not market ready. So if you've got clients who are looking for a bit of a project, then I have two houses for you. One will be high 300s in Fleetwood and one will be high 200s just off Kingsland Boulevard in Katy. Beautiful. Um, Kate, briefly. What's, the, Kate, what's the price on the lot? Uh, to be decided, come and talk to me about it. Okay. All right, um, real tight here. Anybody looking for something right now that they cannot find? Hi, uh, sorry, not fine, but uh, I have uh, one listing coming up. This is Purvacha. Uh, it's uh, in Cyprus and it's a luxury listing. It's a 2 million plus listing and it's a beautiful, elegant, uh, very modern looking Mediterranean style. And it's built on two lots, almost uh, three fourths of an acre uh, with a lot of parking space and five car garage. And I'll be putting up the listing this Friday 
and obviously i'll be sending the photos as well as the virtual tour for the next meeting Very awesome looking forward to seeing that virtual tour mm -hmm. okay anybody I else have, last one. one michael yes i have a want i have a client looking for a 3100 minimum would go up to 4,000, 4,500 square foot home, waterfront and um, three car garage. The three car garage could be a tandem. Looking for it in the Cypress or Katy area, but the northern part of Katy and definitely has to have the primary bedroom downstairs. They don't want a swimming pool. So if it has a pool, they'll take it as long as they can take the pool out. Okay. So we've been looking for about four months. We are now getting very interested in trying to find it quickly. So Karen, the key to that one is go out and find that thing and go list it. But I'm the buyer, I'm representing the buyer. I, I got you, then give it to somebody else, but go find it. <laughs> go find it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> I, I know. All right. They'll find it. I had one in July and they chose not to put an offer in and they have regretted that ever since. There you go. <laughs> You'll find it. All right. Weekly listing contest because we didn't have it last week. Um, first place is going to be $200 instead of 100. Second place, 100. Third place is 50. We'll do the 50 first. Rico, are you taking over? Yes. If you want to yes. Share your screen. I just unshared my screen. This will be for 50 bucks. If you have a listing, um, that's what it's going for right now. Rico in the Philippines is going to be our Vanna White. You guys can, can you guys share, um, see my screen? We see your screen, bud. All right. All right. So who's going to win $50 just because they took a listing in the last two weeks? All right, Richard Kwan, you won fifty dollars. Well, second prize. This is for a hundred. Lucas Bear, you just won a hundred dollars for the listing that you put up, and for two hundred dollars. Danny Antello just won $200 for her listing that she submitted in the last two weeks. Fantastic. And do we have time? If we can get 20 people, I'll go 100. You know what? If we can get 18 people, I'll go 100 because we went over um, for our Kahoot. So Kahoot.it, stuff that happened in the team meeting today, 100 bucks, fastest fingers, and most accurate. The code, 495-6909. Chris, that $100 will help for some of your meds. All vitamins, fortunately. <laughs> okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's get a few more. I'll cut it off in the next fifteen seconds. So All right, remember we've got the preferred partners meeting that's about to start here. Let's get a couple more, come on guys. 100 bucks. <laughs> 10 seconds. All right, 
that's close enough for a hundred dollars. Let's get this started. I have not seen these questions, guys. Who is in the first place of the top listing agents of 2020? This is for the people that are in coaching. Nutsat Tabani, Casey Reed, none of the above, or Dan Foreman. All right, yeah, Nutsat. All right, tricky question. Okay, next one. Who is in the first place of the top close volume? So Danny, or Danny, Rico went with agents in coaching. Deborah Songer, Andrea Ahmed, Angelica Riveros, or none of the above. All right. Third question, how much profit share did we hit in 2020? So was it 503, 699, 502, 365, 500,000, 715, or 452, 220? Yeah, 500,000, we broke it, 503. Last question. This is it. When is the growth committee? Is it January 13th, January 14th, January 15th, or January 12th? January 14th. Wow, 10 of you got it right. Let's see who's won 100 bucks. Well, MDS got third. Not Anthony, second. No! <laughs> Who won? No! Maybe it's Jim, but maybe it's Anthony. Maybe Jim? So who is maybe Jim? Is that Jim? No, I'm not Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, are you maybe Jim? I'm sure he is. Well, I need to hear it because we need to pay somebody and I want to pay the wrong person. Was that, that Anthony Enid? That was me. Awesome. Great job. I'm buddy. sure it was. I challenged him in a chat. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, thank you so much for being a part of the team meeting and for sharing, guys. And, and we'll be back next week. Thank you for being a part of the best company in real estate and making it the best one. I appreciate you all.